There's our first two. Agency Creek, you got the second two. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> 
You're trying to drive me to a My name is Debbie Herrera. My maiden name is Riddle. I'm a Modoc Yehuskin Paiute, born and raised in Beatty, Oregon, but kind of grew up here in Klamath Falls area too, Klamath Falls, Oregon. My connection with the Modoc War of 1872 to 1873 is 
Like I said earlier, I'm a direct descendant of Wainima, Toby Riddle. When she was born, her name was Nanuktua, which means strange child. And then later on, she got the name Toby when she was around the Wairika area. And then after the war, when she traveled the Chautauqua back east doing the shows with Meacham, Meacham is the one that gave her the name Wainima. And so she was an interpreter during the Modoc War. So was her husband, Frank Riddle. And her son, Jeff, which is my great-grandfather, he was there too, but he was about nine or ten. But he was also participating in the war, waiting for his mother and father. My belief that it was all over land, then there were several um, non-tribal people that moved into the area that wanted more land, you know, for themselves. So they were trying to move the Modocs out, trying to relocate them, calling on the government to get them out of there because they were taking up space and they wanted the land. So um, by bringing in other people that felt the same as them, they pushed them out of there. Even though the Modocs did get along with a lot of the local people already, they had already assimilated. So they created the Klamath Reservation and brought them up here, to put them on there to get them out of there, promising them all kind of things, which they never ever gave them. And then when Captain Jack left with a group of them that wanted to go home with him back to that area, all their home areas that they were around had already been taken over by the other people that came came to that area and wanted it. So <clears throat> when Captain Jack went back to the lava beds area with a group that wanted to follow him because they were being mistreated up at uh, um, Odok Point where they had put him the first time, um, they went back to the lava beds and they were told to come back or else you know, they'd paid consequences and they didn't come back. So that was, to me, that was the beginning of their war, you know, whether to force them to come back or just stay there and they didn't want to come. So then I think that's where they made their decision because they knew the whole area and they knew that's probably where they could hold them off the longest was in the stronghold area. So that's how, to me, that it all started down in that area. The names of the faces have been silenced and erased from history's recorded time and place. As we step back through our ancestors' paths, through the womb, the trees, the rivers, the sacred fire, we find that the land and the people are one and the same, and that the spirit and blood of our ancestors are within us and shall never, never die. I'm growing home, growing home, North Carolina is crying. Creator, I'm reaching out to you. Tell them on the other side that they are alive within my soul. Return their prayers that run through my veins. Return the land and heal her pain. Tell the world the blues where it comes from. I'm going home, going home. North Carolina is crying in my soul. Where the noose river runs through a land where my great grandmother sleeps under the earth. Blood of Saruta Nation was free. I hear Nigerian chains. They say are buried real deep. Tobacco fields, trail of tea stolen people on stolen land. I'm going home. Tell them on the other side 
25th annual powwow and I just believe it's like I said warriors of the past and rest restoration for our future and to teach them right and keep our tribe strong. <laughs>
And the snow lies low on General Canby's cross As the winter winds howl and moan Oh, did Captain Jack try to lead his people back But the white man would not leave him alone On the plains of California just south the Oregon border lived a man called Captain Jack Tried to lead his people back He was made to a Modoc warrior When the government tried to order treaties They would make them sign us to their land and rob them blind And the snow lies low on General Canby's cross As the winter winds howl and moan Oh, to Captain Jack Try to lead his people back But the white man would not leave him alone Now never would his children roam The freedom of their native home So he answered the general's trip With his hand on the pistol grip General Canby died in seconds flat Now there was no turning back To the lava beds they'd hide The cavalry chase but the cost was high and the snow lies low on General Canby's cross As the winter winds howl and moan Oh, to Captain Jack try to lead his people back But the white man would not leave him alone As the winter winds howl and moan Oh, the Captain Jack tried to lead his people back But the white man would not leave him alone Now the army it was sent to try to take this warrior bent On living out the life he knew, wanting only the right to choose There were over a hundred soldiers, lost their lives to sixty warriors when there's no food to eat, their position fell as they grew weak. Captain Jack was caught and hung, along with his many Modoc sons. And the snow lies low on General Canby's cross, as the winter winds howl and moan. Oh, did Captain Jack try to lead his people back, but the white man would not leave him alone. And the snow lies low on General Canby's cross As the winter winds howl and moan Oh, did Captain Jack try to lead his people back But the white man would not leave him alone Closing 